Hello there guys and very much welcome to Tutorial on the Helper. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Scrapebox to um, get Google Pass proxies. Um, yeah, so let's get Scrapebox opened. Um, you have to go down in this uh, left bottom corner in the proxy section and click manage. And the next thing we'll do, we'll just go to the configuration. Um, yeah, as you can see, um, depending on your internet connection you should set the uh, number of connections um, yeah so if you have fast internet um, choose a higher connection number if you have bad internet choose a lower um, this will ensure you that you get the maximum uh, speed out of it alright let's just close this now um, the next thing is we go to harvest proxies um, by default we already have a lot of sources here um, which were chosen by Scrapebox and have just unmarked a few of them and um, not any particular reason just yeah if you have a custom source you can add it from here either by typing one URL or you can import a list of URLs um, but we'll just go with the default ones we'll just start it and it will only take a few seconds before we have yeah you can see we already have about 30,000 proxies, I would say. It will just take a moment for Scrapebox to load these in. All right. Um, we won't be using near uh, all of these proxies. You can see we have 34,000 proxies. I'll just remove at least this many. Remove selected, a few more. So this is just to make an example of it. Um, you should try to get about 100 Google Pass proxies, um, but that will take a longer time, of course. So we have 500 proxies in here, and we are going to test them now. Click Test Proxies and Test All Untested Proxies. It will take a moment, so I just pause this video. Okay, so I just uh, I'll just abort this. Um, <laughs> I just found four Google Pass proxies um, and I didn't let it run through near all of them. So um, we have to go to filter and keep Google proxies. So we are only left with these four. Um, you should uh, grab at least 100, I would say, um, to make it work real great. Um, another thing you can do is go to filter and click remove by speed. Uh, and then you can only keep the like the medium proxies or the fast proxies, but that depends on uh, how long you have been running these for. And I will just do just fine with the slow proxies too. So we can either save it to a text file or just send them directly to Scrapebox. Um, and I'll just do that. All right, well, let's close this up. So you can see we have four private uh, four uh, Google Pass proxies right here. Um, and they are just fine for harvesting. Um, don't use private proxies unless you have a lot of them. Um, they will just get banned very quickly. Um, save yourself the money and just uh, scan for some uh, Google Pass proxies here in the Scrapebox tool here. So um, I guess that's it for this video. Um, thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos by The Helper. Goodbye.